Hi. Hello. Here we are again. Wobbly travellers. On tour. <laughs> right. Well, as per our video yesterday, we were heading for Western Supermare. Um, we got there. Well, we couldn't find anywhere to park. It was absolutely atrocious, miles out of town. So we decided to have a drive through to see if we could find somewhere a bit nearer the sea uh, and ended up uh, up this little lane uh, where there were some posh houses and a big parking space. So it was sort of like on the way to Kewstoke. Uh, so we parked there uh, on a bit of a cliff, beautiful view. To wake up to this morning, it was pitch black last night, obviously, when we got there. So I woke up this morning, and we weren't quite sure what time we'd head off, but we were incentivised by the noise of a lorry parked next to the camper, and we noticed uh, another lorry going down about to block the road off. So we headed off. Back down towards Western Supervair, where upon we came across a wonderful spot. Over to you. Well, they, in the, on the um, channel going strutting out, there was like this huge pier, uh, really old. I don't know what the date is, but I'm sure Tim knows. Uh, such in disrepair, uh, but it was huge. Uh, Beck Pier was it? Something like that? Bin Beck. Bin Beck Pier. Oh my god, what an amazing sight. Have taken some video, you'll see it at the end of this one. So, it was built in 1867. Reign of Queen Victoria, of course, and when the Empire was great. Uh, wonderful engineering, innovative engineering at its time. Uh, cost 20,000 gold sovereigns or 20,000 pounds to build. That today equates to around about 8 million, though I doubt very much whether the council will be able to get it built for 8 million today. Um, just to put that in perspective, uh, there was no inflation, absolutely zero inflation from 1805 through until 1914. So when we're talking 4.6% or whatever they tell us it is today, just bear back. For over 100 years, they didn't have any inflation whatsoever. Um, and if you look at it in perspective, when it first opened, it attracted a whopping great 120,000 visitors in the first three months. That was in the era when trains were starting and tourists were first going down to the likes of Western Supermare. And at that time it cost two pence to go onto the pier. Again, to put that into perspective, that's around about £10 today, yeah, which uh, a soldier at the time was earning one shilling a day. A private in the army today will earn just short of £60 a day. Uh, so that's how inflation, uh, just from 1914 to today, has affected us all. So anyway, it was great. Western Supermare, useless. Yeah, They're, maybe they've got parking, but what's the point in having parking that's outside of the town centre? when one would have thought that motorhome travellers, if they've been able to park up somewhere, they might actually like to go into the town centres and spend a bit of money with local businesses, rather than having all the shops die out. And the whole of Western Supermare, I think there were probably less than half a dozen vehicles parked along the seafront. Loads and loads of empty bays. So why aren't motorhomes allowed there during the winter. So that's part one of the trip and then we moved on. Following along on my search for the pirates, the true pirates of Britain today. 
is that for a bit of ice? You just know. So, it's bye-bye from Tim, and it's bye-bye from Sheena. We'll leave you with a few photos. Please hit the like button. Please share, and please subscribe. And pass some comments. Let us know what you think to our photos, and maybe we can improve them. Bye-bye for now. See you later. Bye.